still in love with this one. They look so cute. the mess behind the scenes but it's so satisfying to see all the products together like this yay it's almost time for the shop update i'm so excited hey, hello everyone welcome back to another studio vlog and for another week um even though i this vlog will probably be like a week and a half kind of thing because i'm starting to film um on a thursday i wanted to film some last bits that i'm doing for the shop update seconds update i'm not sure how to call it but yeah this sunday if you haven't checked last week's studio vlog um this sunday i'm doing a second sale on my website uh basically second products are products that are not perfect at least to my eye and for like the um, perfection that i want my products to have so basically they have like small flaws like misprints miscuttings in case of stickers um slight wrong colors because of printer issues or something like that even though they are not perfect some of them like the flaws are really really small and they still need deserve some love so yeah i'm doing that this sunday and i'm actually doing some changings uh in my process of getting ready for shop updates like I mentioned in last week's studio vlog so that it will go a little um, better than last times uh, because I felt like I was always rushing uh, shop updates and I wasn't really you know I I was spending a lot of time like getting ready making the products and all of that but not exactly a lot of time taking photos and sharing about it and all of that and yesterday I was getting ready like all the products on the table so I can take photos and then use them for Instagram and for for the newsletter and for banners for the website so let me show you all about that so I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and I tried some blue eyeliner today um, if you watch my videos from like a year ago you know that I don't know I was feeling like I was lacking a lot and that was affecting like my productivity my mental health and all of that so a year ago I started to take care more of myself and I don't know try to explore my style again and all of that and makeup it's something that i've been trying for the last year um and i still suck at it but i've always wanted to try like colored eyeliner or eyeliner like in general because i never did i never took a lot of risks i wasn't like that person as a teenager that did makeup i basically only started to wear makeup like last year i can't wait to try new things i'm so excited yay <laughs> But okay, regarding the products, this is what I had. So basically, I've put all the products together like this. I have a lot more in there. Uh, but yeah, I took some photos and let me show you how they look on the website. I'll edit it and all that kind of thing. Here's the banners um, that I did. Um, and I did a couple, so I tried them out on the website. And I also did the same to like... Um, to create like Instagram posts like I have several here and I think I'm going to be adding like um, I don't know a title or something like shop sale update or something like that second sale shop update or something like that so yeah I still have to add that but at least the photos are done I think you can see better like this so I have them like this and yeah I'm going to add like a carousel or something on Instagram just and these photos will be for when the shop update is live so i can just say to everyone like it's live you can go to my website and stuff um and i already added it here 
to my website. This is like the home page um, on the website. It's nice that I had the time to do this because I normally don't. But yeah, I already talked all about that on the previous studio vlog. So I think I'm going to go on still editing the photos and everything. And then I'll go to my later profile and then I can just, you know, schedule the posts and all of that. So everything is ready when it's Sunday and it's launch time. Okay, it's a little later and I have to do a little intervention here on my machine. Uh, basically yesterday me and Mariana noticed that the, um, the blade, it's not cutli cutting really well and it's not surprising because I went to check yesterday and I basically bought the guillotine like in, fourth, in the 4th of April of 2019. So it's normal <laughs> that it's not cutting well because um, I never took it out, I never sharpened it. And yesterday I was like looking online for a new blade, um, but then I remembered that I could post on Instagram and YouTube asking for your opinion and if you have a guillotine maybe you already did something about it. Um, and some of you guys told me to sh try to sharpen it and oh my god i'm so nervous <laughs> like for one i'm not sure um how it's going to work and how am i going to put it in here again like if it's going to cut properly or something like that and two i'm not even sure how it's going to go with the sharpening I'm really afraid that it will ruin the blade and then I have basically no blade and no way to cut notebooks for a while because I noticed and I only found the blades on AliExpress and another website. I can't find them on Amazon because here in Portugal we don't really have an Amazon. Oh my god, I'm so afraid. Okay, it's out. So I couldn't find them and since we don't have an Amazon here in Portugal, um, I don't think they ship it here because it's like a sharpen object or something like that. It takes like a month for it to arrive. So basically if I ruin this blade, I'll be have to wait like a month until I can do new notebooks, which will be a mess because I want to do a shop of blade next month. <sighs> Wish me luck. Blade is off and super greasy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to Take it out. I think I'm going to, I don't know, put it um, wrapped in something. Maybe, I don't know, that cardboard that I use to pack mugs. So I don't take it outside like this. This is a chunky boy. Okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> god i'm so afraid because i don't know when i bought it i almost lost the nail um the notebooks so i'm really afraid to have it sharpened again oh my god why am i afraid of everything okay wish me luck i'll let you know how it goes i want to take the blade for a walk <laughs> oh god oh, <laughs> He said the blade is great. What the hell? What am I going to do? Okay, I went to sharpen the blade, but the guy said the blade is really, really good. Um, and if he sharpens it, it can like do more harm than good. Um, 
so I have it back here again and I'm going to try to flip like the um, red sides and maybe flip the blade um, I don't know I'm not sure I'm going to try it again if it doesn't work I'm going to try to um, maybe sharpen it anyway so we'll see how it goes let's flip the red part and see if it helps in any way first step we put the beast on the ground then we try to flip it I didn't put the screws last time so you have to take this part let me put you closer this has like this two oh god this has these two screws uh, on the back and then I can take this little piece here and since it doesn't have the blade it's a lot easier because I'm not worried that I'm going to cut myself so yeah just take this one off and then I flip it over it's really dirty this is a lot easier to do without the blade <laughs> because I'm basically just not worried that I'm going to cut myself while changing this thing basically you can reuse these things in all the sides and then just keep changing them over until you basically run out of sides and now we just need to put the blade again put this without cutting myself it took a little while i basically put these things on my fingers I bought it on Amazon uh, when I bought my guillotine. Oh, my hands are full of oil from the machine. Um, I got these when I got my guillotine and I almost lost a fingernail um, to protect my fingers. So I basically used it to place like the blade in here. Um, and then once it was in place, I basically unlocked like this one to put it um, secure in place. So then now I can put the screws back on. Okay, let's see how it's working. It's now a few days later and I'm filming with my phone, sorry if the quality it's not as good but as you can see I'm having this issue where the guillotine is cutting really really with an angle and I used to have this problem before and what I did was to untie some of the screws and like try to untie and tie them uh, to see how it works but it's still not working so I'm going to try to um, tight all the screws and all of that um, and maybe try again to flip the blade and see how it works but yeah I don't think the machine ever cut this uh, with such an angle sometimes it does um, but it's really really small but right now it's really really like a really big angle um, so yeah going to try some things out and I'll let you know how it goes. Basically when I put the lever down, this, uh, no matter how much I tie it, like it changed place and then the paper does this. What the heck? Okay, it's a little later and this is the final result. It still has like a little bit of an angle, but not <laughs> even close to how it was. This is like my machine's normal, I guess. Um, if you have something like this, um, this is normal, you can't really get any better than this. Um, but yeah, I've been trying out on my finger cards because I still have a bunch of them. Basically, I took all the screws out again, I rotated the blade again, I think I've put it on the wrong side, um, and it's cutting okay. So basically the, the, um, the problem was always with the base. Uh, my boyfriend was here because <laughs> two minds think a lot better than one. We also took out this thing over here, everything is full of grease because of the machine. Because of the base, I basically have to get 
new ones uh, and every time we switch the base like the angle of the blade from this side to this side it would change like a lot so in here it touched in here like immediately and then it has like a lot of space between the blade and the blade the base as long as we reach this side over here so i think i'm going to get new bases just to try it out um but yeah we tried to lift the base a little bit on this side but when i'm cutting it just goes off to the same place but yeah it's a lot better at least it's not cutting with an angle Sometimes I have to push a little bit harder for it to um, cut all the way through uh, equally. But yeah, other than that, at least it's cutting okay for now. I just need to get new bases, so I don't know. <laughs> I know last time I like untied one um, some screws like a little um, and it helped a little. So if you are having some sort of similar issues, maybe try that out, but also try to get a new base, to rotate it um, and check all the screws, even like on the um, below the machine and all of that. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a lot better than it was, but at least like the angle situation, it's taking care of. Phase, so I'm going back to my colors and I'm loving it. Um, I see you in the next time lapse. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Okay, see you soon. It is now the next week, it's now Tuesday. Yesterday I was with Mariana all day in the studio, so I ended up not talking to you. I'm at home right now, as you can see. Um, hopefully you don't hear a lot of wind. We need to change the windows because they are pretty old. They don't close really well um, and it's really, really windy today. As you can see, my eyes are all puffy. It's way better now than when I woke up. I'm full of allergies and all of this wind, it's not helping. But yeah, I've been editing some things for Patreon. I just edit the time lapse for this month. Um, I never show a lot about my Patreon things. It's been a couple of months, uh, maybe half a year since my Patreon is really like... Um, stopped in growth and stuff um so i really need to i don't know show a little bit more of the behind the scenes of it but uh, yeah yesterday when i arrived to the studio mariana had already like um paired almost all the orders and put everything into boxes and envelopes and stuff so that was really really nice i just need to go to the studio now write like the thank you cards because i still want like you to receive the thank you card signed by me and written by me and all of that the shop update went quite well i'm calling it the shop update but for me it wasn't really like a shop update it was more like a sale kind of thing and for second sale it can be re really like a hit or miss because when you do shop updates it's new stuff it's new products and all of that but but for second sale it's like the same products that you already have with very specific issues so i know it's not for everyone not everyone likes seconds um receiving seconds uh, because they have some sort of issues uh, or flaws or something like that. It's really specific limited products so it can be really be like really nice or 
not at all but it went really really nice i had like i never i don't think i ever talk like about um, the number of sales or something like that but i think it will be nice to start mentioning that because i know when you see like big numbers on youtube and on instagram and stuff like that you might think that people have like a crazy amount of orders but i never do i never reach like 40 sales even a month <laughs> um so i had 17 orders that for me that's so so nice and so so awesome i actually ran out of mystery bags for notepads and for the sticky sheets i still have some bundles for bookmarks but we had like a lot of them happy that i put a little bit more effort into it i think it made all the difference to be honest so yeah quite happy with that and i'm going to try to uh, use the things that I learned from this shop update for the next one. So yeah, I'm going to get lunch in a little bit and then we are going to the studio. So let's go. So here's all the work Mariana did yesterday. I'm not going too close so you can't see like the labels and stuff. Look at all the packages. Oh gosh, it's so cool to see them all together like this. Um, so yeah, it makes me really, really happy. Thank you so much for your support. It really means the world. So many. <laughs> Hello, it's now a uh, Wednesday. <laughs> um, I might look a little different because I'm not wearing glasses. I'm trying contacts for the first time in like two years or something. Um, I stopped wearing them before the pandemic uh, started uh, because I was working on my part-time job a lot on the computer so my eyes were getting really really tired and I was getting headaches and stuff like that so I needed to use more like my glasses and stuff um, and then during the pandemic I didn't want to go back to contacts because ends going to my eyes and stuff uh, but now I feel a little bit more relaxed I don't know um, 
So I wanted to try them again and because now there are moments when I'm not on the computer um, and I'm not looking at the screen hour after hour. It's not like the like the rule in my day to day. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to try them again. I'll let you know how it goes, but the freedom, it's so cool. Like I don't have my dirty glasses because I always have my glasses dirty like on my face all the time. But yeah, yesterday we finished packing all the second sale orders. There was still a lot of packages. I had to go through them and change some things around. Mariana is still learning, so she still doesn't know a lot of things. And for me, it's kind of hard uh, because some things are really automatic for me. So I kind of forget to tell her uh, or something like that. So I have to go through some of the packages and change them. Like some of them didn't need to go on boxes which make the shipping a little bit more expensive because boxes are expensive and they are a little more heavy so I changed them into envelopes um, I had to um, also wrap some things a little bit better and all of that um, but yeah, that's on me because yeah, as I said I turn not like on autopilot and some things are already like second nature to me so I kind of forget to let her know about all the steps and all of that um, it has been a big learning curve at least for me but it's been super super nice to have help um, and I don't know get I can make things faster and all of that so yeah it has been super and super nice experience um, but yeah I had to do that and then we went to the post office and all of that and then during the afternoon I actually Oh my god, this camera just keeps changing the light. Um, and during the afternoon I was at home um, and I started to do a painting, hopefully editing Bia, put some footage um, of that as well. I'm starting to do the painting for the March goodies because, spoiler alert, I'm still waiting for the washi tapes that I ordered for Patreon for the March goodie boxes. So everything is a little late. I'm going to send the March and April goodie boxes together. So I want to finish the painting uh, for when the washi tapes arrive everything is ready uh, to go and I also need to do the illustration for April for the sticker but yeah I'm doing the painting I'm doing it in gouache because I needed a little break from the digital uh, process like the beginning process of the coloring and all of that and I'm then I'm going to put it digitally to create like the ambient slides and any details and all of that so yeah it has been a super nice evening yesterday painting and all of that I really really miss it and now something super excited I don't know if you remember like a couple of weeks ago I did a mark here in my town um, and one of the shops here in the town um, asked me if I could take uh, some products for them to see because they would like to sell them in their shop which is super super cool um, I think I mentioned it briefly here on the studio vlogs but I mentioned it a little bit more on my patreon that I want to go into wholesale this year it's super exciting I've been putting together some products um, to take them like some samples for them to see and I'm also trying to put together uh, the website part for the wholesale so that's exciting and all of that so that um, I can send like the online catalog for shops uh, for them to see like the prices and then they can order it directly from my website I'm still pretty new at wholesale don't ask me don't ask me too much about it because yeah I have no idea what I'm doing but uh, for the starter I'm doing like a 40 percent discount I think that's like normally the thing that people do like 40 50 percent discount so that the shops can have like a margin uh, to profit as well so yeah wish me luck I'm going to take uh, some things out they wanted a more stationary focus kind of thing um, so yeah let me show you all the products okay so I'm taking a few mugs that I didn't took to the market but I told them about it I also didn't took socks because I didn't have the time to make them so I'm going to take uh, just two pairs that I have made I'm going to take these two tote bags are the ones that I have in stock as well and this one I need to add to the shop and then I'm going to take one of the um, letter sets that I had for Patreon just to show that I can do something like that. I'm going to take a couple of earrings because they also showed some interest in them, some washi tapes, my pin, um, the keychain. I really want to make more pins and keychain this week. Then I'm going to also take some sticker packs, some sticker sheets, notebooks, prints, and then 
more notebooks in various sizes and i'm also going to take like some covers like this for them to see like um all the designs that i have but yeah i think it's a nice selection just some samples for them to look at and maybe hopefully they will place a little order with me that will be super super cool once i have like the website ready i'll show you how i'm doing it um on wix it's a little tricky to do like a wholesale website um because normally on wholesale you can set like a minimum amount of order um and since i have my shop and all of things ready i can't really do that without i don't know affecting whole of my shop so i'm going to just try it out for uh to see oh my god there's so much noise outside i'm going to try it out to see how it works and then if i need to maybe i'll have to do like a second website just for the wholesale um and i'm also trying to set up my fair what is happening out there i'm also trying to set up my fair um wholesale website and all of that so i'll keep you posted all about that i'm going to try to put everything in a little bag or box just to go everything um nicely packed i'm also going to take a few options like the bags that i have uh for them to see and tell them like they are compostable uh, made of paper and all of that so yeah wish me luck hopefully i'm going to start selling in some shops um and then if it goes well, I'll, I think I'll be more confident, uh, confident into like sending emails and all of that. So yeah, let's take care of that. Let's go. back i think it went quite well uh so they work at consignation i'm not sure how if that's how it's called but yeah basically i drop them there and then every month i'll go there and um see um what's sold and whatnot and all of that i normally try not to work like that i'm trying to um sold them at the discount price as i said before but it's right next door so it's okay for me i could just go there every month um and work out with that so yeah they want mugs they want earrings uh notebooks in the two sizes like a5 and a6 um and tote bags so yeah i need to get going on working on that and then drop them there um and they also want prints but i'll have to uh, prepare them with like a backing card and cello bag and all of that so yeah might do that next week to drop them there uh, because summer is coming and normally there's more tourists um on these shops and all of that so yeah i need to get ready for that and i i think i never talked more about the guillotine so let me explain how the situation is going okay so this is cutting fine right now but i would like to mention what i did i think i already did but anyway so to change the blade i got some questions on instagram basically you just need to unscrew these screws over here and what i did so i won't cut myself because i didn't even know how the blade would come out i basically unlocked this I basically put it down and I unscrew the screws with the blade uh, down. Um, I'm not sure what happened for it to cut bad because when I had it, um, when it was cutting bad, like my red thing, it's not really used. Um, but I think the thing is already flip it over a bunch of times so right now there's like the um, sulk here uh, in all sides so basically it's cutting bad because it's like in all sides and down and all that so i think i'm going to buy uh, some new replacements um of that take this out uh, i also got some questions about it you have two screws down below uh, that you need to take out and then you take out this little piece over here normally use an exato knife to put it up and then you can slide this one 
um, over on that side. Basically, normally if it's cutting bad, it's the fault uh, of this red base thing. It probably it's too worn out um, or it's a faulty one or something like that. Basically, it was cutting with like that angle uh, thing because I've put the blade wrong. I tried to flip it over because I was too afraid that this part, since it's the one that cuts the most on my machine, um, because I normally put the books more on this side, I was worried that it was worn out so I thought that flipping the blade, blade would help, but basically it has to be put the right way to function. If your cuts are cutting a little bit crooked or something, maybe try. I know that in the beginning um, I unscrewed uh, the screws, not entirely, but you can take um, a few uh, out and see if it helps. Maybe it's too tight or too loose or something like that. So check all the screws and all of that. You can also take this one out. This is just um, rotate and it takes out. And then you have two that looks like the same uh, below the machine. And then this thing over here gets loose and then you can control like the lever and um, this thing and tight the screws in there as well and always tight this one really really closely because even if it's like really tight or something like that sometimes it can move just a little and then you get like um, not straight cuts so you have to tie this one really good and also the lever. But yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments um, and I'll try to answer them. And if there are like a lot of questions, I'll try to do a video all about the routine and how I use it and all of that. So. I also got a few messages of people saying that the guillotine never worked okay, um, always cut it crooked and all of that. Always check your screws and always check that you are tidying like the red part and also the lever and all of that. Um, but it can happen that you have a faulty guillotine, like mine always worked perfectly. Sometimes I have to tie the screws and all of that um, and also change the red blade, the red uh, base and all of that. But like the guillotine itself always worked um, okay. It's normal that sometimes you'll have not a really straight cut. Sometimes it has like a millimeter difference or something, but it's still like, this is still a hand, um, a proper guillotine that you can buy on, that you get in like um, printer shops and stuff like that, that really cuts straight and all of that. This is still for handmade things in small quantities. So always take that in consideration. Um, but yeah, it's still perfect. It's the one thing that made me um, possible to have more notebooks and make more quantities and all that before I was using just a ruler and a gazato knife. I, if it doesn't help, maybe you'll need to contact the brand or something like that and see if they can help. And maybe it's a faulty one, I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope it helps. Okay, I'm going to end the studio vlog here. I'm pretty sure it's already a chunky one. I'm not sure if it was too confusing because I know I filmed some bits at home and it's going to be a mess to edit because I filmed some things with my phone and other things with the camera. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure what I talked about. I think I talked about the shop update and now with the guillotine and all of that. I really hope that the info helped even though i still trying to figure out what i'm doing as well um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing it really means a lot um and thank you so much for watching if you want to support my work uh so i can keep making videos and tutorials and all of that make sure you uh, check my patreon if you want to support me over there uh, you can support me as low as like one euro a month and you can cancel anytime all of that things um, so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one bye I was editing the video and I saw that I forgot to say bye so bye <laughs>